Hi Gem, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ohima Bonsu. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. Okay, so Dose of Colors makes amazing lip products. My favorite lip product from them is the lipstick shade Chocolate Wasted. It is so pretty. And I also like the shade called Brick because it's a beautiful deep red brick shade. I know they have eyeshadow products but i've never tried any of their eyeshadow products so whenever they announced the launch of the foundations i thought give it a try see what it's about you might love it just as much as you love the lip products so that's what we're doing okay so then we're going to be taking a look at the dose of colors meet your hue foundations so i actually got this a few days after it launched and it's been sitting in my shelf for a while because priority you know today it's finally time to try out this foundation and see if we have a good shade match and also to find out if it can hold up in an eight to nine hour day and also to just see what this foundation is all about i'm also going to be sharing with you guys some new products that i got in that i feel like i can't put them in an individual video so i'm just i'm gonna put those in this video as well so we can see what they're all about so if you want to see what products we add to our dose of colors meet your hue foundation then keep on watching So Dose of Colors actually released 42 shades of the Meet Your Hue foundation. It's supposed to be high pigment, matte finish, buildable, lightweight, long wearing. It says, our lightweight, medium to full coverage foundation delivers a blurring effect which reduces the appearance of fine lines and skin imperfections. It's vegan, cruelty free, talc free, paraben free. Fragrance free, oil free. I got the shade before the last shade, which is 141. So 141 is described as deep with golden undertones. And that's why I got it because it says golden. That's that's literally the only reason why I got it. Also, my eye look will be in a video by itself. I was going to put it in this video, but then I realized it's just going to be too long. And I just decided not to. However, Jumping into the foundation routine, I have been loving this product right here okay and this is the tatcha the satin skin mist so this is a powder mist two to three spritzes on your face to refresh skin and neutralize shine i like using it before i apply my primer and also after i apply my primer so and it has a very fine mist it's like barely you can you can barely feel it and whenever i put it on you can see like, like very fine it's like little white stuff and that's the powder i see on my face i love how it makes my foundation feel next i'm going to go in with the milk makeup hydro grip primer you, you guys know this primer i love this primer and also because we're using a matte foundation i don't want to use a mattifying primer i use it a whole lot it's like almost halfway done okay i'm gonna spritz my face one more time okay i mean there's only one foundation so i don't know if you want to see a swatch of it but i can put a swatch of it on the back of my hand and i feel like it blends in very very nicely looking at the back of my hand like it's it's beautiful it's not red it's i'm actually impressed by the shade match on the back of my hand so i'm gonna use the foundation it comes with a pump it's a matte frosted glass, but it does come with a pump, and the pump looks matte. And it says medium to full coverage, so hopefully we don't end up using too much. So I'm going to blend it in with the Dark Skin Makeup Daily's Beauty Sponge. Bruh. I feel like this is a... <laughs> For the people that brought us chocolate wasted, if the foundation was crap, I was about to be so mad. But you guys, look at, 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 look at this. What foundation? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am impressed. Like, first pat, and I'm impressed. I'm very, very, very impressed by this yellow golden undertone. Ah. 
this is my skin in a bottle like you can see the goldenness like in the tone balances out my neck and my chest it's not red it's not too bright it doesn't feel tight on my face but it's dry and it's matte but it's not like it's not white matte I like what it's doing. I like what it's doing. Okay, so I just need you guys to tell me what you think about the foundation match. Let me know what you think down below about the match. The coverage is beautiful. They said it's a medium to full coverage, but I feel like the amount I put on my face was enough for a full coverage look because it's covered and blended into my skin very, very beautifully. Like, as much as I love Chocolate Wasted, I would have been so disappointed if they hadn't gotten like a shade for me or if i didn't have a shade in the know your hue foundations it's beautiful it looks from the card like they have they have seven deep shades so it's evenly distributed they have seven fair shades seven light seven light medium light tan dark and then deep the shades, the shades look very evenly distributed um, on the range, especially for it being their first complexion product. I feel like they covered their bases and they covered, they covered their their undertones to where I can actually get a shade that looks this good. So I'm using the Makeup Forever concealers the self-setting hd concealers and i have 54 and 53 i am going to use 50 i'm gonna use 53 but we're using the shade 53 and then if we need to we can go in with another shade but these concealers you don't need to set and i did a video on them on my channel to show you know just to test them because I was a little bit like, this can't be real. So if you want to see that video, I will put it in the card up here and I will also link it down below so you can check it out. I feel like I put too much concealer on my face. I just feel it. I can feel it. I can feel I put too much concealer. I am going to blend this in. Okay, I'm going to put some of the Juvia's Place concealer and this is the shade number five. use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder and this is the shade Coffee Cake. I'm going to use that to set my under eyes and then I'm going to go over with my Ben Nye Nutmeg. So I'm taking my F37 brush. It smells so good and I absolutely just love what it does. It's like a little bit brightening on my skin. Let me try to get some on my brows too because my brows get very oily too. And I need to set it before I can do my brows, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the setting powder on my neck to help balance out the shade. Even though I don't really need a whole lot, like I literally just used the brush to go over it. So I didn't have to like put a lot of it on to help balance it because my face is already pretty much balanced out to my, um, to my chest. Okay, my face is matte and my face doesn't feel tight or anything but you can clearly tell that it's matte let me know down below in the comments what you think the steps so far i'm gonna contour with my koi Voka contour powder and this is the shade icon okay, if you're looking for a contour that's deep enough for you check out koi Voka because they have a ton of contour powders and they all work beautifully like i barely tap into it and i can get a good contour out of it they also have bronzers, by the way. Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1. And I'm taking this shade and this shade. Okay, my face is matte. I can tell that my face is matte. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but my face is matte. Which, it did say it was a matte foundation. I just haven't had a matte foundation like this in a while. So... It's a bit like I feel like there's something wrong, but it's not like a crazy kind of matte, but it's matte. Like there's no shine to my face right now. There's only like a reflection of my light, but my face is matte. Matte matte. Like she's not a matte matte kind of foundation. She's a matte foundation that you can tell is matte, but you can actually I can't feel it on my face. It doesn't feel like I have anything on, which is a good thing. But looking at it, my face is matte. 
So you guys, LA Girl has setting sprays and misting sprays. They have these two shimmer mists and one is gold and the other one is silver. Well, it's like rose gold and a silver one. It's so pretty, but I can't spray myself right now. So I'm just going to put that to the side. But they also have a priming spray, which I didn't use. And they also have a setting spray. So I'm going to use a setting spray on my face right now. This has fix and set makeup for extended wear. It's... <coughs> The setting spray actually smells a little bit like, I want to say cucumber water. So this is what my skin looks like after it's set. This is beautiful. Like usually when a foundation is too red, a setting a setting spray will bring the red tone of the foundation out. If you, if you don't know what I mean, check out my Morphe foundation review. I thought, I thought everything was going okay until I set it. This is gorgeous. Those some colors. You've done something. This is this is very pretty. Thank you so much for having a golden undertone in a deep range, okay? Because a lot of brands out there think that whenever you get into the deep range, it's red, 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 red. And it's not just like a moderate red. It's very, very red. And it matches some people, but it doesn't match all of us. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think because I'm feeling myself right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes and so we're gonna use the new anastasia loose highlighters and they have two shades they have the pink one which is peach fizz and then the one that i actually use to highlight this side of my face which is called vegas it's the one that looks like this taking a little bit of that and just gonna apply it i'm gonna use my favorite lip product from dose of colors which is chocolate wasted and then i'm gonna go in the middle of chocolate wasted with the shade super natural and i'm not gonna line my lips because chocolate wasted is a very brown shade okay so i'm gonna go ahead and set my face again i feel like my face is still matte y'all like it is matte the setting spray smells so good the finish is beautiful the finish is beautiful the shade is perfect but it's a matte. I think she's matte matte. I, I didn't think she was matte matte, but I think she's matte matte. Like I will come back at eight to nine hours from nine o'clock, 9 a.m. And then we'll see exactly what my face looks like. Many hours later. Okay, guys, I realize that I'm too weird for YouTube sometimes. Sometimes the things I do that I feel like are creative, I'm sure somebody on YouTube is going to say, oh my God, that's just weird. But <laughs> I like these weird lashes. <laughs> I do. So it is now 5.30 and I did finish my makeup around, at least my skin routine, around 9, 9.30. So it is now 5.30, so it's exactly 8 hours since I did my makeup. Of course, I ate, I actually ate, and my lip color is still on. My eye started itching because I have not been taking my allergy meds and I had to like pull my lashes off in an attempt to not wash my face because I remembered I was doing the wear test. So that's why I don't have any um, falsies on. But this is what my face looks like after eight hours. You can see that right here is really, really oily. My forehead is oily. My chin is oily. Essentially everywhere is oily okay what we're interested in is that did the foundation stay on and not break up or move or slip or slide or crack so let's go ahead and take a look to see if the foundation broke up especially on the nose slightly moved over here you everything looks everything is still in place everything is exactly where it's supposed to be so my face that my face did get oily but everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. And if I had just kept powdering my face the whole day, I'm pretty sure my skin would have still looked flawless. But do you see how my oils came through and the foundation shade did not change? I'm just going to go ahead and use my powder brush. I don't have any product in there. I'm just going to pat the, the brush on my face because it does have powder particles in it. For sure, for sure. And usually this is how I would uh, powder my face during the day. I guess it's not like super matte. It's just going back to looking fresh and flawless. I'm surprised that it didn't move over here because when I was uh, trying to get my eyes to stop itching and watering, there were tears like coming down my face and it didn't like erase the makeup over there. And even if it did, probably because it matched my skin a bit more closely, you can't even tell that I had tears like on my face. Like, do you see this? Like.
so yeah this is it this is it for our review so you guys this is it for me if you're somebody who's a, who's maybe a shade or two darker than me you will be able to use you will be able to use the shade 142 if you're someone who's lighter than me that you obviously have all these options that you can go with um for this being dose of colors first complexion product they did amazing um at distributing all the shades with within all the ranges that they had i'm hoping hopefully in the future they will have darker shades because i know there are people that are darker than 142 and hopefully you will be able to find your shade i was able to meet my hue and my hue is 141 and 141 is a deep shade with golden undertone okay you guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you dose of colors for understanding that dark skinned people don't all have red undertones thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in my next video which will be on wednesday and we'll be taking a look at the beauty bakery insta bake foundations and concealers see you guys on wednesday bye